individuals who have claimed in present times, in contemporary times, who have made the claim that they are prophets, they are messengers of Allah, uh, they cite an argument. And that argument is that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a messenger of all times who keeps reincarnating in their persons. The, he has come on the earth in their person. Uh, the founder of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, the uh, Ahmadis, he made this claim. He had claimed that Muhammad had come back in his person. And some other individuals have also made this novel claim. The main premise of this claim is, is that Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the messenger of all times. He is present from day one and he keeps coming to earth in various forms in the person of various people. This is a belief in some cults. Some cults are entertaining this view and the cult leader would hoodwink his following with this claim. Does the Quran confirm this claim? What does the Quran say about it? The Quran refutes this claim. The Quran refutes this claim left, right and center. I would like to present to you two verses from the Quran to negate this claim which is being made by false prophets. The first verse is in Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3 and verse number 144. In that ayah, Allah says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ Muhammad is no more but a messenger. Messengers have passed away before him. The important word in this ayah is Qad khalat min qablihi Before him, before Muhammad. There is a time period before Muhammad. Muhammad is only a messenger. Messengers have passed away before him. So there is a time before Muhammad and there is a time after Muhammad. Before Muhammad if there is a time period before Muhammad, then obviously, logically, he cannot be the messenger of all times. When Allah says there is a time before him, messengers before him have passed away, then this is telling you crystal clear that there was a time when Muhammad was on this planet and he was not on the planet from day one. Very clear, the ayah is very uh, clear in informing us about this. If you read the whole ayah, it is still emphasizing more humanity of the messenger. It says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ Muhammad is no more but a messenger. قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ Messengers have passed away before him. أَفَإِمْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلَ If he were to die or if he was to be slain, and qalabtum ala aqabikum, will you turn back on your heels? Wamayyan qalib ala akhibaihi, whoever turns, turns back on his heels. For lay yuzurullah shayya, he cannot harm Allah in the least. Well, sayyadzillah shakirin, but Allah will reward the thankful. Ali Imran chapter number 3, verse number 144. Muhammad has a time period before him. Muhammad is success. He is. Not somebody who cannot experience death. The ayah is clear. Otherwise the ayah wouldn't say if he were to die or he was to be slain. Because he has this feature. He can die. That is why the ayah is saying. And one who can die, who is mortal, he does not exist in all times. This expression, messenger of all times, is not to be found in the Quran. It is not a Quranic expression. It is not the translation of any Quranic word, ayah or phrase. So ladies and gentlemen, we should be clear, very clear and very careful that when preachers give us some beliefs to accept, then we have to check whether the Quran endorses those beliefs or whether it refutes it. Another evidence that I would like to give you in this regard is in Surah Al-Saf, chapter number 61 and ayah number 6. This is a sermon of Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He addresses the children of Israel. He says, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullahi alaykum. 
Most surely I am the messenger of Allah to you. Musaddiqa lima bayna yadayya min al-Tawrati I confirm the Torah, the law which is before me. Wa mubashiram bi rasoolin yaati min baad ismahu Ahmad And give you the good news of a messenger to come after me. To come after me. His name is Ahmad. Ladies and gentlemen, very clearly we see when is Muhammad Sallallahu to come? After Jesus. His time begins after Jesus. Jesus has to go and then Muhammad has to come with his mission. If Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to come after Isa Alaihi Salaam, how can he be the messenger of all times? How can it be said that he is present from day one? It does not make sense. It is illogical and it is contradictory to what the Quran says. The Quran says, وَبُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمَهُ أَحْمَدِ And give you the good news of a messenger to come after me. His name is Ahmad. Very clearly, Muhammad came after Isa And Muhammad came when all the messengers before him had left away. As the words indicate, قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلِ Messengers before him have passed away. Messengers before Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There is a time before him, and he came after Isa alaihi salam. So there is no authenticity. There is no weight in the claim that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of all times who keeps coming in. He he keeps reincarnating in the person of various individuals. Please check up these Quranic ayat. Surah 3 verse 144 and Surah 61 verse number 6. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.